starting live with you. Yeah. We're back? Yeah, I guess so. I guess <laughs> we're we got back. kicked off and now we're back again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry, this is probably going to show up as two videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get this posted on my uh, on my other. Get this one posted too, since the other one's posted. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, if you're a mother and you're you're dealing with with the difficulty of, of the kids and they're having a hard time connecting and there seems to be an issue, the issue might not be connecting. The issue might be identity. And you might either need to step a little more into a fathering role or you might even need to find a mentor and find someone who can bring that fathering role and can speak to their identity because you might be hitting that upward limit where identity precludes the possibility of any more connection until that is answered so that's something that i think we can consistently hit and i think when we hit these frustrations within ourselves and with others it's because we got to be able to move both bars up a little bit which is you know very similar unrelated topic but i just want to mention it really quick hit it very quick there is this thing about love where again we're stuck in the same kind of you know well who do you love more or who do you love less love is just love it's it's not finding who's more and who's less so, but there, there, in fact, it's the opposite. If you, so you love God, but to the extent you don't love others, that's a cap on the limit to how much you're loving God. And, and so, you know, and, and vice versa, and also with yourself. So you love God and you love others, but you don't love yourself. Well, that cap on the limit, limitation of your own love for yourself becomes a limitation of how much you can love God and how much you can love others. Mm -hmm. It becomes that, that, that ceiling where now you're, you're frustrated and whatever self-loathing you have is going to be in some way taken out on others. It's going to be in some way taken out on God. It's inevitable, especially in close relationships, you know, especially if you're married and you have self-loathing, well, you and your partner are one, so you're loathing them too by loathing yourself. So... All, all things are connected in love. So as you're loving God, you're loving others. And as you're yeah. loving others, you're loving God and you're loving mm -hmm. yourself. So wherever the limitations are, wherever the snags are, it becomes the limiting factor for everything. Yeah. And this is the same way. Connection and, and identity, they are the limiting factor for each other. You know, where you need to have a stronger grip on identity... That's going to hit a point where your connection is now unfulfilling, where your connection is no longer as happy, and where you need to connect more, and you need to go deeper, and, and really, really make sure you spend time and really connect to each other. That's going to, that's going to hit, there's going to hit a point where just identity and just knowing yourself and knowing others is not good enough, and you're going to get frustrated, and you're going to try to do more and try to do something else. And, and what you really need is to spend the time and really connect and get past fears and insecurities, get past things that are stopping you from connecting, stopping you from intimacy so that you can do that. And you said you can, we can, um, connection doesn't necessarily mean loving yourself or liking yourself. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And, and neither, neither does identity. I, neither identity nor connection actually means love in, in and of itself. You can have the dark side of identity. For instance, um, you can you can go wholeheartedly into being a very evil person, having a very evil identity. In fact, that's often I think the temptation is kind of the belief that, well, I can't really have a real identity and be a good guy. I can't really get out there in the world. I can't really succeed in my identity as a good person. So nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last. So you know what? I'll be the biggest and baddest of them all. <laughs> I'll be the dark lord then. That's kind of the masculine take on the whole temptation. Fine, I'll be I'll be the worst there ever was then, <laughs> and go all the way. And you see that in the Old Testament with some of the kings and some of the people there. That that's that's the direction they very clearly went. And for women, and the same thing in connection. Connections can become like. I need connection so desperately that I will manipulate in order to connect. I will control the other person. And I will I will find a way to connect or I will even connect with people where it's very toxic and very bad for me because I need this connection so badly. Women look for spells and stuff to yeah. cast a, a love potion or love spell on. Yeah. Yeah. 
move towards witchcraft, move towards, mm-hmm. you know, dark kinds of things because they need connection so badly. And uh, so it can go dark. Both can go dark. And in fact, you can go in both at the same time, very in a very dark way. You know, if you look at some of the most evil, powerful men in the world, most infamous men in the world, like Hitler, they were very much in identity and who they were, a very mm-hmm. unique and... Very secure in his identity. Very secure in his <laughs> uniquely dark and evil identity. Very powerful in that identity and also very powerfully connected to these other individuals around him that were... That were also really powerful in, in darkness, powerful and in evil. And that was not a positive thing. And that was not a positive thing. That was thing. not love. <laughs> so, you know, I think that's a, a, a fallacy we might get sometimes as Christians is that connection is automatically good. And that um, identity is automatically good. But the only thing that makes it good is truth and love. Yeah. God is what makes our identity good. God is what makes connection good. When we're connecting to what is good... That's good. Yes. When we're connecting to evil, that's bad. And uh, when I was talking about how we're wired for love, like Mm -hmm. Dr. Caroline Leaf says, and what were you saying about a a loop? Oh, yeah. When when we're operating in love, we're in a positive feedback loop. It just keeps on. Love demands. It, it It drives you to know the person and to connect with them. To know them and connect with them. The more you know them, the more you connect with them. The more you connect with them, the more you know them. And you just keep on going further and further. And rather than either of them becoming a limit, they just feed into each other. And you're just more and more pursuing more connection and more knowledge of that other person. Getting more into their identity and who they are. And that's that's what love does. And love creates that positive feedback loop. Fear creates the negative feedback loop. It creates the opposite Mm -hmm. where you're going into less and less of identity you're 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 pulling back and away from the right identity and actually a lot of times pursuing the dark identity pursuing the evil identity and instead of going into um connection that's positive that's wholesome you're going you're 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 pulling back from real connection Mm -hmm. and you're going for connection that's manipulative and that's that's contorted. But the way God made us, we're wired for love, mm-hmm. even in our hum- our physical bodies and and every our emotions, everything. Yeah. Why love works? Love is the best way for all of it. Uh, the everything that's in us to function yeah. is out of love. Absolutely, absolutely. It's all supposed to be in love. So the the interesting thing is that connection and identity they're very very important. We really need both of them. But they are really supposed to be the sort of the vehicles of love, the vehicles through which love moves through us and into others, the vessels that are full of love, that carries love, the blood vessels. It's mm-hmm. supposed to be carrying love. Love is that blood. Love is the real core, the real essence of what is flowing through us and back and forth to each other. That's, that's supposed to be the real thing. So you can't have connection identity without love. And you can have both, you can have either of them kind of separately and not really with the other. And that's brokenness and that's not what it should be. And there's going to be limitations. There's going to be a lack of maturity there. And there's always this struggle and this fight between the love and the fear. The fear is going to be trying to get you to regress in your connection and regress in your identity. And to wherever it can pull on that, it will. So the thing that tends to suffer is the thing that's under the surface. It's the infrastructure. For men, that's connection. For women, that's identity. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to affirm and build up and put an emphasis on building up each other's infrastructure and our own infrastructure, making sure women, you you take care of identity. You know who you are. You got to know who you are and you got to be strong in that and established in that. You can't be needing somebody else to give you identity. Tell you've got to you have you your are. own identity. Mm-hmm. And men, you've got to establish connection. No matter how horrible that might seem, no matter how hard that might seem, it's not good enough that you know yourself and you know what you want to do in the world. You need to deal with your own emotions. You need to really connect deeply and learn to self-nurture and learn to self-heal and learn to care about yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, all of that identity is going to go to waste and it's Mm -hmm. not going to be fulfilling and it's not going to work. It reminds me of 1 Corinthians 13 
where if, you know if you don't have love it profits you nothing yeah all of those things any works anything that you do without love it profits you nothing yeah even if you give your body to be burned and all those things men want to you know they want to lay down their lives and they want to be all manly and brave and everything but if they don't have love it profits them and and for same for women yeah if we don't have love it profits us, profits us nothing everything yeah. that we do is vanity yeah and this is this is really this is really the, the crux of the matter that the two of them have to be together for love to really be communicated like it needs to without both love is not going to have contact it's not going to have the the root system is not going to have the the uh what what needs to be there love is just a concept without connection love is just a concept mm -hmm. without identity it needs both of these to be carried through us and and to go back and forth it's got to have a transportation system there's got to be a way yeah. that love goes throughout us and circulates throughout us and goes back and forth and interchanges between each other and that system is identity and connection wow what a revelation so that's what we were talking about and so we decided we need we need to do a facebook live right now while it's well, strike while the iron's hot. While the iron's hot. So we love you all. And if you have any comments, we don't have anybody live. So if somebody comes on here later and you want to make a comment, please do. And mm -hmm. uh, go to Sean's page at How to Be an Internal Success. Yeah, How to Be an Internal Success. And um, follow me here at Changed by Love and on my blog at PennyDouglas.com. And we have more to come from me and Sean. Probably next Thursday, and maybe we'll just pop in on a Saturday or some other day too. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> We've just been doing a lot of talking. Somebody's coming on right here at the end. Watch our replay. Can you tell us who you are? Oh, yep, they're gone. They're gone again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's fun, guys. It. Yeah. Thanks a lot for for watching, and come and join us again when we come on again. Out of the blue.